Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of Homemade. And today we are going to be making the easiest one bowl brownies ever. And this recipe, you all, it is a great recipe if you're looking for something um, to just cook with your kids. It's really simple. It's not a lot of ingredients and Again, it's super easy. You can literally have your brownie batter mix in less than five minutes. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, I will tell you this is one stick of melted butter. Yes, this is real melted butter. Now, I know I rarely ever cook with butter, and I can say this. Even if you use Imperial for this instead of butter, it's still great. I just like the butter taste and actually the texture that the butter actually does give the brownie. So most of the time I will use real butter. We're also going to put in a half a cup of cocoa. Now I just use regular cocoa. I don't use a dark cocoa for this particular recipe. If you want to use a dark cocoa, feel free. I have three-fourths cups of granulated sugar. Make sure we get all of that out of there. And we are going to use one-fourth cup of brown sugar. So we're going to take that and we are just going to mix in our cocoa, our sugar, and our butter, we're gonna mix that really well. You wanna make sure that there are no clumps in this mixture. Doesn't take long, but you just wanna mix it up really well. Okay. At this stage, I am going to add in my eggs one at a time. And I'm putting in two room temperature eggs. And you all, I just love cooking things from scratch. Now, don't get me wrong. You know, I love Duncan Hines and Betty Crocker brownies. But I just love the from scratch feeling. Okay. Now that we've got that mixed in, we're going to go ahead and add in our tablespoon of vanilla flavor. Give that a little quick stir. And at this time, we're going to add in a half a cup of all-purpose flour. And I will say this. I am using salted butter. If you don't use salted butter, then go ahead and add in a pinch of salt also. But if you're using salted butter, you don't need that pinch of salt. So I'm just going to stir this around really well. And last but not least, I'm going to put in two teaspoons of coffee. And the coffee does not have to be hot, you all. I just like that extra flavor that the coffee gives the brownies. So we're going to stir that and our brownie batter is ready. Now, I'm going to cook this in a 13 by 9 um, Pyrex pan. If you have an 8 by 8 um, or anything smaller, I just like the thickness that this pan actually gives. My brownies are not too thick and they're not too thin. You do want to make sure that you either coat your pan with cooking spray or some type of oil. If you want to use butter, that's fine also. But I'm just using a regular butter cooking spray. Go ahead. Give it a quick stir. And I'm going to pour in my brownie batter. Now, if you wanted to put nuts, chocolate chips, or anything else in this, you will do that at the end after you put in your coffee. We're not going to put anything into this. 
These are not a cake batter brownie. These are more of a fudgy texture brownie. So we're going to only cook these for 20 minutes. Now, once that 20 minute mark hits, the way that I'll tell if they're done, I'm going to test the direct center of them, not the edges. I want to make sure I test the center because, again, I do want them to be fudgy, but I also want them to be done. So we're going to put these into the oven. My oven is already preheated to 350 degrees. Going to put them in for 20 minutes. Once that 20 minute mark hits, our brownies should be done. Our brownies are out of the oven and if you can see, and it's a little hot, these are not the crack top brownies. Even though they're fudgy, our top does not crack with these brownies. Now, if your top cracks, that's totally fine. Don't worry about it. But typically with this recipe, they don't crack. Now, I love a crack top brownie. And when I say crack top brownie, you know what I mean? It means that you see those little um, flakes on top. But again, this is a very fudgy brownie. Even though it's not, the top is not cracked, the inside is very fudgy. So we're going to go ahead, let this cool for about 30 more minutes. Once it cools for 30 minutes, I'm going to come back, cut a slice of it, just so you can see how fudgy they actually are. We're back and our brownies have cooled. So as promised, we are going to go ahead and cut into this deliciousness. I'm just going to cut a small square. I'm going to use my fork to help get it out. And you all look at how fudgy that is. And it's not a thick brownie. It's thin, but it is so fudgy. This is good. Yeah. This is good. And I have my milk. I love milk and brownies. You gotta try it. You all, make sure you try this recipe. And if you do try it, make sure that you post a picture in the comments. I wanna see how easy it was for you to make this one bowl brownie. Cooking is as easy or as hard as you make it. But I promise you, if you keep it simple and be yourself, life can be so much easier. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Homemade.